Hi, this video will cover creating master measures for the forecast analysis sheet. Okay, so let's begin. I'm at my application overview screen in the TC ice cream application. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna click the forecast analysis sheet. And I'm gonna go over to the business requirements document for a minute. You can see I'm gonna create five master measures, okay? One concept that we're going to introduce from the last video we did a master measure on is, is this new filter, if you would, called max sales year. So before we can begin building the master measures, I wanna take a moment to explain what this filter does, okay? So let's go back, let's look at our application for a minute. So I'm gonna click, you know, here's our filters, we got product name, flavor name, et cetera. I'm gonna look at the sales year. Let's take a look at this for a moment. We have four sales years, 16, 17, 18, and 2019, okay? That's where our application has. So in ClickSense theory, your max sales year, that is the maximum value, the year could be is 2019, okay? And we're gonna base the forecast for 2020, or you know, the next year we'll say, off of 2019, that is the max sales year. Why we're doing it this way is this, let's say, let's say now it's now 2021 and we're gonna forecast out, all right? So we wanna use, let's say we got it added in for 2020, then our max sales here would be 2020. And that's why we wanna use, we, we don't wanna hard code in 2019. We wanna make it a very, uh, a formula, if you would. So when we get new data in, it always pulls the last year, the most max year, the last year's data, okay? And you'll see that in a few minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and click out a sheet, master measure, master items. We'll go to measures here. You got measures, dimensions, visualizations, all through states. We're gonna go measures, create new. So let's begin. Let's start our first one here. It's called past year sales profit. So I'm just gonna highlight this, copy it into here. It's like I can make it any color I want, green they prefer, so I'll do green. So we have an expression and a label. So we're gonna click FX. I always like to click the FX to bring up my expression window here. Okay, it's in the bottom left corner. I've been typing in the formula just yet. And here's my expression. Copy this in and we'll talk it through a little bit so you can understand it better. Okay, so what it's saying is saying, hey, if the sales year is equal to max sales year, then multiply quantity sold times the profit per case. And we did that a little bit earlier in another, when we did the profit analysis sheet, okay? But look down here closely. The formula is okay, but let's look closely. It says some sales year equals 2019. So it interpreted this max sales year gave us 2019. Again, because that's a max sales year we have in our data, okay? And the formula is okay, I'll click okay, apply. Label expression, let's look at the label expression. Well, I could simply do this. I could simply say, hey, 2019 sales profit. But again, I'm hard coding into 2019. Don't want to do that. Let's erase this. Go back. It says here the label should be max sales year. We'll concatenate the words sales profit. Max sales year. We concatenate sales profit. That's what this ampersand quote space sales profit goes to quote. Notice down here it says, okay, and hey, we're quote in 2019 the sales profit. That's what this does here. So my point is not only in an expression, okay, that's what we did here. The, the expression we wrote a formula. We can also write a expression, if you would, in a label. Okay. All right. Kind of neat. We'll format it money because it's money. I don't don't need the decimal places, so we'll remove those. Put a comma here, comma here, and there you go. There's your past year sales profit, okay? Next formula, master measure that is, past year quantity sold. Well, basically it's the same thing as what we just did, but we just, we don't want, we don't, we're not worrying about the profit for this one. We're just worrying about the quantity sold. So I'm gonna go back to my app. I'm gonna right click on this. I'm gonna duplicate it. Notice here what happened. I duplicated past year sales profit, duplicated it. Created a new one, pass your sales profit. But notice here carefully if I mouse over, it says, pass your sales profit one. So I made a duplicate of that. So let's, let's right click down and edit it. 
So no, it's pass your sales profit once. And that's not what it is. It's pass the name is pass your quantity sold. Pass your quantity sold. It says here any color you wish, what come in blue. So make it blue. And again, you can use any color you wish. Um, what's the expression? It's the same thing, but you know what? We're not gonna worry about the profit. We're gonna remove this from the formula. It's saying, hey, now it's saying, hey, give me the quantity sold for 2019. All it's doing. Label expression. It says sales profit. We're doing what? Quantity. So, and it's not money because it's a it's it's a number. If you would number, and I don't want any decimal places. So there you go. So this is my past year quantity sold. Only the 2019 quantity sold. Okay. Okay, my next master measure is forecast profit. Okay, so this is a little bit more tricky. So we'll go ahead and create a new one. We'll do forecast. Okay, I'm gonna make the color green, it said. And we're gonna reveal the expression now. Let's again click the FX. Again, it's okay. The corner says okay. And here's my formula. Okay, so what's this do? Let me explain this. I'll copy it and we'll walk it through. But first of all, I got an error. Because when I did the copy paste, it added some like mind breaks, if you would. So I'm gonna go before here, the return, the backspace here, and now notice it's all one, one continuous formula. Okay, so let's read it. Okay, so it's saying here, sum again next year, 2019, money sold times profit per case. Well, we've done that before. We've done that for the profit, but this time it's saying, hey, that. That forecast increase, that variable we're gonna set, which we'll explain later on in a later video, divide that number by 100 and add it to one. So basically we're saying, hey, take your quantity sold, your profit from last year, from 2019, times it by one point, let's say 25%, so it'd be 1.25, 1.3 for 30%, 1.45 for 45%, okay? Because we want to include the profit from last year, that's why we're putting one there. And then obviously we're forecasting out with the new percentage, okay? That's our label expression here. Again, we're gonna do some dynamic formula. This one's not dynamic. This is our forecast profit. This is what we're saying. Hey, here's what we're gonna forecast our profit to be, all right? And then we're gonna go with number, money, and we'll move the cents. Comma, comma, create. All right, so then we got our forecast profit, okay? Let's see what our next formula is. It's our forecast quantity sold. Hmm, well, kind of the same thing we've done before. Let's go back. I'm gonna right click on the forecast profit. I'll duplicate that one. Again, it says forecast profit one, because we made a duplicate of it. Go in and edit, remove one. It said to make a color red, so we'll make it a red, no problem. And then let's see, let's forecast. Yep, forecast quantity sold. And let's see. Sold. What's the formula? This form is exactly the same, but again, we're not worrying about the profit. The quantity sold. That's all we're doing. Okay. And then we're doing our label is forecast, even the simple quotes. Quantity sold. Let's save. Okay. So we got a pastures quantity sold, our pasture sales profit, our forecast profit, our forecast quantity sold. Let's get one more master measure in here before we conclude making the master measurements. And that's our variance of quantity sold. So we kind of want to know what our variance is. That is, if let's say we made, we sold, the quantity sold was 1,000, and we're going to forecast we're going to sell 1,250, our variance is 250. So we want that number two. So let's go back. It's called variance quantity sold. So I'll, I'll just create a new one. Variance quantity sold. It says here make it yellow. And we're going to do an expression here. 
And the formula is kind of the same thing. This fabs make sure it's a positive number. Okay, it's like the absolute value. I want to go back. And all this is saying is this up, see here. And we will make sure we do this, do this. Now it's saying, hey, we just, this is, gives us a variance here, okay, of the quantity sold. So basically it's that percent, if you would, of what variance, you know, like what's the percent? So basically it's the, <clears throat> instead of doing, let's say what we did before, we multiplied by, let's say 1.25 for 25% increase. This is just saying, hey, this is the 25%. That's it. Click apply. The label expression is variance quantity sold. Our number is a number, and we'll do this format here, and we'll click create. And now we have the five master measures, if you would, that we're going to need for this sheet, okay? And that concludes this video.